Welcome back, shoe tubers, to another episode of Sneakers and Up. And once again, I was able to get your boy to drive out here reluctantly, but he did it. So we're out here again. We have a cup of soul, Mr. Mr. Nelly himself. I'm telling you, I'm gonna charge this boy a Uber fee for the miles and the gas that I spent to come up to see this boy. All right, so again, we're gonna do another episode of Heat, Sleep, and Nah. And in case this is your first time tuning in, this is where we take a look at each other's sneakers and kind of give them a little, our little personal take on how we feel about them. Um, but please feel free to comment below. Let us know what you think about the kicks. Uh, if you like them, if you don't like them, if you think we're cool, crazy, whatever, um, let us know. So again, just like the last time you visited, uh, you brought some crazy heat. You brought the Ben 13s, the Tokyo 5s, uh, and the DB4s. That's so again, I have no doubt that he's going to blow the camera up again. He's going to have to buy me a new phone. Um, from all the heat, remember you said oh, the flames. Oh, the flames. <laughs> El so, Fuego. <clears throat> but anyway, so I'm gonna start off again, um, and then we'll go next. So the first one, gotta reach in the bag. Remember, we don't see these first. So the first one is gonna be a custom. This is one that I did myself. Jordan 13 low, white and purple. So if you look, I mean, I think the, clean, the lines are okay. I could have done better, but I'm not going to what do you think? Heat, sleep, or not? And don't, don't let it be that it's my sneak and my, oh, no. be advice. I'm the most honest cat in the world. That's true. That's true. You know, I know the importance of custom, right? Because we all want individual, like one of one, right? But this is to me, like customs to me are, most custom, all, I'm just saying in general. Customs are... Yeah, they're kind of like, nah, you know, I'm not, I'm not a custom guy. I know Dante, he's, he's full fledged on that. But for me, I'm just like, that's just not my thing. But that's I right. can see how he likes it. Uh, I mean, there's like pretty crazy customers, like uh, customizers out there. They're pretty famous, right? Like right. Tragic Kicks is one. Yep. Mache. Is it Mache or Mache? A mosh. Like a mosh. Like but like, those are like two big names. You probably remember that. Because customs, right? Oh, so, yeah. There is a way to make your name for it. You know, you got the artistic talent, you do the work, and it looks awesome. Like LeBron got a pair of these Iron Man. Yep, from uh, Mosh. Mosh, Super remember that? Dope. And Tragic Kicks. Uh, Does what, most of the 49s. His, yeah, what's his first name? Oh, uh, we, uh, we'll let him give the give his oh. name, the personal name. He goes by Tragic Kicks. So. But Tragic Kicks, yeah, he did have a collaboration with all those 49ers. So, I mean, there's, there's some good, good opportunities there, but... but. No, that's all, it's all good. All right, so I got a no on that one. I'm not heartbroken. At the end of the day, it's my sneaker. I want to wear it. I, I still like it. So the next one we have up is going to be one that's near and dear to my heart. A little a crazy nostalgia here. So there's the GP2. So this is a recent release. You're getting your patents if you don't know what the GP stands for. Oh, yeah, this for clarifying. I mean, we're from the Bay. We both up grew up in the Bay, so right. I mean, Gary Payton has some, some nostalgia for me. You know, um, the other Gary Payton that I actually like more is the, uh, the, the glove, the glove one, with right, the, with the zipper. That one's that one's dope. I, when they re started re-releasing those, I had six pairs. I had all the colors, every single color of the glove. And um, he went to did he go Skyline High or did he go Bishop of Bell? I think it was Skyline. He went to Skyline High, so Skyline. he's from Oaktown. This guy grew up in Oaktown. I grew up on the other side of the bay, but in general, I think this, this, is, this is a sleep. People are sleeping on these. Uh, I think so. I mean, they have some significance in the sneaker history or sneak, uh, genre. So I think, you know, you got to really appreciate sneakers who really like it, right? So, Let me I think show it's one, then. Let me see if I can do this just right. That's how you tighten it. So it's not on my foot, so it makes it a little difficult. So it just clicks into place. And they're supposed to be for his lockdown defense. That's what it, that's what it's supposed to signify. I don't know what the circles mean. So, but I still think it looks cool. And again, for me, it's very nostalgic. All right. So the last one I got today is going to be kind of on a theme from the last one. It's going to be the Jordan 13 Low Clot 
And this is the friends and family version of the last time you were here of the Terracotta Warrior. Okay, so what do you think? He's sleeping on. You know, it's Cloud again, like the brand, and I I'm a supporter of Cloud, regardless. I would say this is he. Uh, the 13s, though, after a while, I think some of the problems with the 13s is the kind of creases a little here and there, but it's not horrible. But overall, this is the, the infrared is, is popping. Yeah, the infrared is popping. The infrared pops like crazy. Oh, I think this is 3 MC, right? Yep. Something. It is 3 so, all right, so I got a heat, so I got a nah, I got a sleep and the heat. So I touched on all three today. That's cool with me. I'm, I'm good with that. All right, so you are up, sir. Thank you guys. See what I got in my bag today. So. Oh, man. Last time he was here, I was floored. Two out of the three. So we'll see what he brings today. He may or may not like. No. Oh. He may or may not like the shoe. But, I mean, it all depends. On me. If you guys don't know, these are the soul, soul, soul fly ones. Put the little soul flies got it look, back here. Yep, if you can see it a little bit. Okay, these are these are different. These aren't like them. The material is like the bread toast. Oh yeah, they're definitely they're definitely Good quality material. materials. Really close to like the shadow. So on camera, this may look like kind of like a faded black. Or like if, if it's not kind of catching catching the color properly, but no, it is kind of like a almost like a green. I think it is. It's supposed to be the Miami kind of. Yeah, color. like the hurricane so, green kind of thing, but not as bright. If you guys don't know, Soulfly is a boutique that's based in Florida, and the owner is Mia uh, Carlo. I forget his last name, but his sister is Michael Jordan's current. So that's the connection, and so he has a Soulfly boutique down there. And he does a lot of collaborations. Uh, you can follow them on uh, Instagram. Uh, there's some pretty dope collaborations that he had, but this is one of the most recent ones that he had out. So I was lucky enough to pick up a pair. Definitely did not pay retail for this. So if you want to know, you know, it's a little bit pricey, but I, I basically traded and paid right. for it. But overall, uh, this is what it's a collaboration. I might need a pair of these. Yeah, these are, these are, uh, these are heat. I'm kind of digging them. I love the fact that they're like the bread toast, but they're not. Yeah. I mean, I got confused too. I thought this almost looked blackish, but then now you look at a different light, it's actually more greenish. Yeah. So from all the pictures though, it seemed like a bread toast. That's why it, did, it didn't do nothing for me. It was the bread toast with a stain. The lighting, the lighting. Right. So, but being that it's kind of like that green color, I'm digging that. So I'm going to go over the heat with these. Huh. Yeah, these are dope. Oh. Yeah, those are dope. Thank you, sir. <laughs> And the next one I got up my bag. This may or may not be, but that's hype piece. You always gotta get one of these. Nah. <laughs> nah. It's all right. it's all no, right. it's all good. It's uh, it, I do like the pattern. I like all that. Um, I do respect Supreme for what they've done. What I don't like is what it's kind of done to the culture. If you if you can kind of understand what that means, um, it just turned it into all of the busyness and all of the the selling and everything that it is now, really. But again, I respect Supreme. Uh, half this stuff is cool. I just don't like how they turned uh, what they've done. I, I I don't care for it. But again, I respect it. But these are gonna be a nah. No, I don't like either one. The red ones I like more than the black ones, but either I, either one of them are not. Hey, you know, us hypeys, you gotta keep it real. Right, right, right. No, that's all good. So, got enough for me on, on the, what is it, the Fleur de Lis or something? The Supreme? Oh, yeah, the Fleur de Lis is on there. Yeah. So, let's end it with the last pair, and, um, you know, why, why not, right? Here you go. <laughs> I don't think Dante appreciates these shoes. These my size? Uh, you're close. Oh, it is my size. I couldn't get it eight and a half or nine. These are nine and a half. Um, heat, absolute heat. So I've owned not this color, obviously for most people, but I've owned this sneaker, and I do miss, I do miss uh, the Nike Yeezys. I think the Nike Yeezys, all of them, completely floor any of the Adidas. 
I, I can feel, I can feel like all the knives and all the harsh words being thrown at me right now. But I, you know, it's my personal opinion. I'm not a fan. I do like the Yeezy 700s. Actually, it's the only model from Yeezy that I like. I'm actually wearing a pair right now. Um, but the Nike Yeezy, especially this one, because of the all red. Second to me are like the soles. These are absolute crazy, crazy heat, I think. He just the heat. 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 All right, I'm, I'm gonna let you take this out on that one because that's just heat, it's heat. Well, I guess that's it, guys, so... Uh, Peace, I'm, I mean, we out, I'm out. I, I think he couldn't take the heat.